so welcome again this is the concluding video of exercise 4.5 and here i'll be discussing the last two objective questions that is 17 and 18 here uh, these are important questions in the sense that the approach of these questions will be different so let us start with question number 17 here a is a non singular square matrix of order 3 by 3 then adjoint of a is equal to 1 there are many ways of doing it and one of the easiest way is to have this formula with us that is adjoint of a times a is equal to determinant of a times i this is one very important formula that we have studied and determinant of a times i if a is a matrix of order 3 by 3 so determinant of a is a value just a value so scalar times i is equal to determinant of a 0 0 0 determinant of a 0 and 0 0 determinant of a all right now if we take the determinant in both sides we will be getting determinant of adjoint of a times a that is equal to the determinant of this matrix all right so we know that determinant of a b is equal to determinant of a times determinant of b all right and from the row 1, row 2 and row 3, we will be pulling out determinant of A respectively. So we will be getting here it is determinant of A whole cube. Alright. Similarly, you can see it as putting it, putting determinant of A out from columns 1, 2, 3 also. Now determinant of A and determinant of A cube will get cancelled to form determinant of A whole square. So we get adjoint of A is determinant of A whole square if the matrix is of the order 3 by 3. In general, let us make a note to it that if the matrix is of the order n by n, then adjoint of A is equal to the determinant of A to the power n minus 1. This is a general note. Alright. Now, coming to question number 18, we are given that A is an invertible matrix of the order 2, then determinant of A inverse will be equal to. Alright. So, this is also a very easy question, but it needs a different approach. Now, let a inverse we know a inverse as 1 by determinant of a times adjoint of a will be using this property to find determinant of a inverse now since it is a 2 by 2 matrix the order is given to let us assume a to be a b c d all right so adjoint of a we get it directly as you can directly find it out right now minus d b c a so 1 by determinant of a times adjoint of a 1 by determinant of a times adjoint of a is equal to d by determinant of a minus b by determinant of a c by determinant of a and a by determinant of a all right so now we have to find the determinant of a inverse right now so this is actually a inverse let us find out the determinant of a inverse so it will be just the determinant of this matrix which we have right now all right now let us just solve this matrix let us put a this determinant of a outside from each row there are two rows so we will be getting determinant of a two times outside that will be determinant of a whole square and inside the matrix that remains is d minus b c a so if you open this matrix you will be getting one by determinant of a whole square times a d plus i'm sorry a d minus b c minus b c now a d minus b c is determinant of a undoubtedly so determinant of a one gets cancelled and we are getting it as one by determinant of a so actually the determinant of a inverse or the determinant of a inverse is equal to one by determinant of a so one by determinant of a is the correct answer so i hope that you have no problem with this if you have any kind of problem please feel free to use the comment section exercise 4.5 is done for now and we'll be meeting in the next, next video where we'll be completing the last formal exercise of this chapter that is exercise 4.6. Thank you very much for watching this video.